Ford journey again uh, with Mark and Don, and we've got two of our 439 uh, buyers on board with us. We've got Roger, Kim, Rob, and Carrie. It's a beautiful day on the bay, and uh, we uh, should have uh, relatively light air today. It looks like somewhere between 8 and 10, so we will have the reacher out for the most of the time, but we'll try the jib. So welcome aboard, and uh, away we go. Pre-wired for it, so if you do the manual system now, Mark could always add the electric plate 
we use Harv, Neil Harvey, and you guys, everybody gets 40 hours with, with Neil. We call him Harv. He's made a living his entire life racing boats, you know, 80 footers, Rambler, that 80 foot, 85 foot boat Rambler, you know, goes around the world, races everywhere. And, and, and he explains that, just like I did to you guys, he explained to us that these sails literally won't ever stretch. As where Dacron starts stretching immediately, and so the shape starts being compromised more and more, the more it stretches. So what you're looking for is basically a wing. Yeah. And if you get too much of a belly in it, what happens is with my owners, with the Dacron sails, honestly at about 20,000 miles of sailing or so, the sails pretty much kaput. So they've got to, you know, get a new sail. These sails will last probably 30,000 miles, uh, but the difference is they will always hold their shape. They will literally start coming apart before they lose their shape, okay? So they are more money, but the sailing experience from it is night and day difference. You know, like I said, and the, the, and, and Harv explained this to us, is that a Dacron sail will stretch, it makes the boat heel, and then you go forward. As where these boats don't stretch, so the boat doesn't heel, it just has power forward. Yeah, so it's really, it's a sailboat. Put the best sails on it, you can, you know? I mean, if you were buying a, an, a, a center console, you'd put the biggest outboards on it you could. So buy the best horsepower sails you can. That's my what I say. And, and you know what? All of our owners have done this, and they all love these sails. Yeah. It's not that. All the, the reachers come like this. Okay, so when you click off the reacher box, it will be the sail. The upgrade is for the main and the jib. This sail wouldn't perform the way it does if it was Dacron. It would want to collapse in light winds, as where it will hold its shape, you know, down to five knots. And under heavy winds, they do well too. Very well. Yeah, yeah. And anything over really 15 knots, you'll be using the main and the jib, and and they'll hold their shape better than a Dacron sail. And of course, with the main and the jib, the boat becomes self-tacking. With, with the reacher up, honestly, attack now, we have to row that sail in. Yeah. Right. Unless we have a relatively trained crew, we have tacked it or jibed it through the slot before, yeah. but you've got to have a group that knows what they're doing. Sure. Um, Harv and I have done it, but so you can jibe. We've jibed our so code zero, you know, yeah. around the front of the boat. If, if you know what you're doing, you can. You just have to bring it in a little bit and put it in front of the to, to jibe it, we yeah. basically just kind of let the wind get behind us enough, and, and this side's pulling it, and the whole key is when the wind comes behind the stern that it's over on this side immediately, and it doesn't get trapped over here. Yeah. So the timing, it's all about timing, and it's, and it's easier and obviously lighter air. But like today, when we when we tack and head back today, we'll roll it up. Yeah. You know, Do you roll that's it up easier. all the way, or only uh, almost, to almost. Okay. I mean, I'll leave a little bit out, but not much. The slot's only about that big that it's got to go through. Yeah. There we got a little breeze there. Yeah. So what do we got there? Just how much uh, wind? 10, and how fast? ten knots apparent, and we're going six point five. Oh man, is that a best you can do? Well, it, you know, it's kind of. <laughs> you, you like warm colors? You know, like Thank you. 